Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session I will share with you object counting plus application which is ready to use application okay so I will share with you this application I will mention the buy me coffee link inside my description box you can simply buy it from there so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today i will share with you ready to use object counting flask application you have to only run the code and you will get object counting flask application for let's just say for default a model which is basically yellow v8 to yellow 12 you can use any model also you can simply mention your own custom model for object detection for object counting uh, using any region of area let's just say if you want to draw the line you can draw the line if you want to draw the polygon area you can simply draw the polygon area and you will get the statistics and uh, this is basically how it application works so you will get the idea as i mentioned i will mention the buy me coffee link simply buy it from there so i have already download the project folder this is what the project folder for plus object counting main zip which is the zip format file right click and then just click on extract all it will extract our project folder so this is what project folder again we have inside our main project folder which is the flask object counting main just open it here we have our app.py and index.html requirements.txt for installing the packages so we want to first create here a new folder which is templates templates and inside that templates we want to move our index.html just paste it that's it done so we have done with creating templates folder and we move our index.html file inside templates folder now we will open our VS code so let's just open VS code and we will open our project folder so file and we will search for open folder and this is what the folder select it and just open it it will open our project folder like this way so app.py so as I mentioned first we want to install requirements.txt which I have already done but I will show you just open new terminal and we are inside inside our project folder we are inside our project folder so we want to run the command like this way pip3 install hyphen r and the requirements so just press the tab button it will complete the requirements.txt file name pip3 install hyphen r and requirements.txt you have to simply press tab button it will complete the requirements.txt file name done so i have done with as i mentioned i have done with a package installation now simply uh, i have run this server on 9090 port as you can see the 9090 port you can change the port as per your requirement you can go with the 8081 you can go with any port so 9090 is the port which i have decided to run this flask application inside the web browser that's it we have done now simply run the code it will start our application as you can see 127 which is the local host or 192.168.0.100 which is my uh, pc ip address the ip address means the wi-fi or let's just say the lan ip address so we will open 127.0.0.1 which is the local host so we have to go here and it will say follow link just select it and it will open the application like this way so by default the model is yolo 11 n.pt so that's why it says model loaded successfully as you can see this is how the application look like we have two tab one is for the live detection and counting and another one is basically for the statistic of the data means we will get the graphical data simple so you will get the idea when we uh, go further so first what we will do we will uh, go with only detection mode so operation mode we have 
to option which is the counting mode where we can start the counting object counting let's just say i don't want counting i only want to detect custom object like let's just say you train your model for detecting helmet or no helmet so in that case there is no need to create a counter you have to only detect if the person is wearing helmet or no helmet so for that we need detection only so we will select detection only let's just say and we will go for default model so default model is basically pre-trained model yolo 11 and dot pt which is the by default model i have mentioned you can simply change like this way yolo 12 s dot yolo 12 s dot pt so yolo 12 s dot pt you can mention yolo v8 s dot pt you can mention yolo 10 whatever version you want to use simply mention it and click on load model it will load that model inside this application when the process completed you will see there is a message model loaded successfully just click on ok it means we successfully load the model now a video source so if you want to use your live webcam simply you can choose your webcam but right now i want to use my video file so i will select upload video then click on choose file and i will select the video file let's just say i will select this video file shoppingmall.mp4 click on open and then click on upload video you will see it will take some time to upload the video so we have done with uploading video now because we want to detect a classes so right now in this video uh, we have only person so i will select the person class only done so now it will detect only person class from the video file which i have selected using yolo 12 s dot pt model so now just scroll down and click on start detection it will start detection as you can see it started the frame this is the live frame we have fps all these things and there is a person as you can see which is basically coming out from the mall or let's just say shopping center as i mentioned this is not the counting we mention here detection mode as you can see right now we are activated detection mode so only there will be a detection person one there is no this is not a counting this is what basically right now what object we have so right now as you can see the person is simply away there is nothing so it is only detection mode we detect a person so let's just say if you go in statistics dashboard there will be no statistic because the statistic is only available for counting not available for uh, normal object detection so as you can see we are detecting the person so this is what object detection normal object detection so let me stop the video now so click on stop it will stop the detection as you can see so here as i mentioned for detection only you can choose your own model so how you can choose model selection there is a two option which is pre-trained model which is yellow 8 to yellow 12 and if you select upload custom model you have to choose the model path where you uh, store your model uh, so let's just say if i have here a model inside uh, here i have model as you can see base.pt so base.pt let me let me show you how we can do so i will select the base.pt click on open and click on upload and load model so it will upload your own custom model just click on ok so we successfully upload the model uh, we will not change the mode we will stay with the detection mode right now so for detection only mode we select our own custom model now we want to upload the video file so click on choose file i will select the video file uh, this is basically a cctv video file where we have a conveyor belt and some cement pack bags are moving so it will detect only the bags because this is the model which i have created for that particular video so just click on upload video it, it will upload the video and when we upload the model it will automatically detect what class we have so we have only one class we will 
get that class name in classes to detect which is the cement bag simple start detection as you can see this is the scenario this is the custom object detection model we are detecting the cement bag this is what the class simple but there is no counting because we are right now in detection mode so this is how you can use this plus application detection mode only for the object detection with yellow 8 to yellow 12 pre-trained object detection model and you can simply select your own custom model also so now we have done with object detection now we will go for object detection and object counting so in operation mode i will select counting mode so as you can see now there is all statics disk means for in count and out count all these things and here you will see the mode is changed which is now counting mode so we will we successfully change the operation mode now we will just let's just say first because we already mentioned our best.pt for counting so we will first check the custom model so, so best.pt all these things are okay we uploaded all the the video file we up already uploaded so there is no need to change just scroll down and here counting region so counting region means basically the horizontal line vertical line or you can simply draw your own area so i will select the custom drawing so just select the custom drawing and then inside custom drawing shape type so basically we use two region the line and the polygon so i will first select here a line so line which needs two point the start point and end point so click on draw region it will show the video file which you uploaded it will show that video file first frame so right now we uploaded the cement bag video using the video file also we uploaded our own custom model so here we want to draw the point so let's just say i want to create here a counter so i will move my mouse cursor over here this is what my first point you will see the red color and the first number and this is what my second point so we draw the line now just scroll down and on this same app uh, same window we want to click on save region so it will save region region save successfully click on ok so we save the region you will get the point over here and because we have only one class so cement uh, back now click on start counting it will start the counting it will start counting you will see here a counting out count one we count one then two now if you click on statistic dashboard you will get this kind of graph as you can see we have only one class so which is the cement bag and cement bag how many bags we counted right now four out there is no in and you will get timeline you will get the detailed statistics also how many counting and it is automatically updated this is the live dashboard this is the live dashboard classes only one model the model the file which we uploaded which is the best.pt auto refresh in two seconds last update 3 8 18 pm so this is complete live dashboard okay so now if you want to just stop or you can simply clear statistic click on ok again ok it will clear all the statistics now we will go to the live detection we will stop that's it we successfully stop so this is how you can use your custom model for object detection and object counting you will get all the statistic now we will uh, let's just say we will go for the pre-trained object detection model which is the yellow 8 yellow v 9 whatever okay so we will uh, go for a uh, counting mode same mode only we will select here a pre-trained model and we want to mention that model name so let's just say yolo yolo 11 and dot pt or let's just say yolo 12 and dot pt so it will download that model click on load model we have to wait when we done model loaded successfully click on ok we want to upload the video file choose file and then uh, i have here a video file in my downloads which is the same one shopping mall click on upload video it will upload the video 
custom drawing and then again i will draw the line so draw region now we have we have here new frame new uh, snapshot so this is what our old line we have to clear that one so just click on clear all it will clear the old line and we want to draw here a line for counting so i will go here this is what my first point this is what my second point it will draw the line click on save region it will save the coordinate and then there will be a coordinate as you can see now we want to only detect a person class so i will remove all the classes only mention person and then we will start counting so it will start counting this is what our video we have a line and the fps and when the person touch the line it will check whether person is going out or going inside this is how it will work so right now as you can see person out one out to count one if you go on dashboard there is a method as you can see there is a statistics simple so uh, this is how this flask application will work for object detection and object counting uh, so right now as you can see the one person let's just wait you will see in count increase in count increase so now if you go here in statistic dashboard there is a in count in green in one and out one simple so now i have here another video so let me stop i have here another video so counting mode and pre-trained model i will change the video file so i will go down and i have here one video file let me check inside video vid1.mp4 click on open we will upload the video and we want to we want to draw again we want to draw the line so i will click on uh, draw region so this is what the old line this is what the vehicles all the traffic so i want to first clear the old line clear all and i will draw the new line so for this scenario we need vertical line so i will go here this is what my first point this is what my second point save region click on ok and we will select the classes so there is no person class we will select the car motorcycle and let's just say truck car motorcycle and truck and we will start counting so truck in two motorcycle in one car in two this is what we counting you can create uh, the custom object detection model for this kind of scenario also if you want to detect the auto rickshaw but right now i am using yellow 12 n.pt which is the an object detection model which don't have auto rickshaw class so it says the, this is basically the car so truck 5 motorcycle in 3 and car 19 so if if you go here in statistics as you can see we have truck 6 motorcycle 3 and the the main target main object means most detected object which is the car 74.4 percentage and this is what the the frequency in and out then in and out then in and out simple here you will get detail all the statistics so this is how this application will help to detect the object and count the object simple ready to use flask application i hope you will learn something from this video and this application will really help to to do object detection and counting easy way in browser we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye